Greetings to all who are listening to this video. Um, I don't know what time you'll be listening to it. I just want to say good morning, good day, good evening. It will depend on the time that you'll be watching it. I just want to thank all those who have supported my journey so far by subscribing, by clicking, by commenting, and even by sharing this videos. Today I have entitled my message, Do Not Move, Stand and Fight the Battle in the Spirit. You know, what I have learned in this journey of being a Christian, because it is a journey, and in this journey, Sometimes you get tired, sometimes you get encouraged. You experience different things that life throws at you. Sometimes it's joyful, sometimes it's sad, sometimes it's peaceful, sometimes it's hateful. But for whatever situation, we have to use the word of God as a standard. And when you're going through a difficult time or when you want to take an important decision, our question should be, what does God say? It is unfortunate that most of the time, as human beings, we take decisions without involving God, without asking God. And sometimes you are in a situation, you don't seek the mind of God. Sometimes you want to come out of that situation, but you don't know how. You know, just recently the Holy Spirit was leading me to say, you know what, there is a divine strategy regarding the situation that you are in. It's a difficult situation, so how do you come out? What is the word for this season? And God said to me, be still and know that I am God. And somewhere when it doesn't happen, when you are still and knowing that it, he is God, and it seems as if things are not happening, you have been still, what else? You stick to that word that God gave to you. And remember, when you are going through that very difficult situation, when you are going through that experiencing jealousy, experiencing resentment, experiencing difficulties with people. I want us to read Ephesians. Listen to what God says regarding this situation. Because you know sometimes you just sit there and then you mutter and utter and then you chew the word and you ask yourself, God, how do I come out of this situation? What is that I should do? Then I encountered, the Holy Spirit reminded me of Ephesians chapter 6. I will read it from verse 12. It says, For we are not fighting against human beings, but against the wicked spiritual forces in the heavenly world, the rulers, authority, and cosmic powers of the dark ages. This is good news. But I like it with the version that says, we are not fighting against flesh and blood. So when people treat you somehow, when they hate you, when they resent you, when they are jealous of you, when they sideline you, the word of God says you are not fighting against human beings. You are not fighting against flesh and blood. It says you are not fighting against flesh and blood, but you are fighting against principalities. You are fighting against powers. You are fighting against rulers of darkness in heavenly places. So once you begin to realize that the fight that you are not fighting is, against, is not against human beings, then you begin to fight in the spirit. And you also begin to realize that, listen, these forces of darkness that I'm fighting against they are actually in different ranks. The highest rank is principalities. It says you're fighting against principalities. You are fighting against powers. 
You are fighting against rulers of darkness in heavenly places. Some of these forces of darkness are more powerful than others. They are at different levels. And that is why in some instances, you have to put it to the next gear. When you start to drive a car, you drive slow. You start with gear one. And then you accelerate gear two, gear three, gear four, gear five. You speed up. So even in the spirit, you cannot use the same level for different demons. When it says principalities, you know that it's, this is the highest level. And therefore you have to push it to that level. But what you cannot afford to do is to retreat. You know when you are in a battle, when you are facing the army, when you are facing battle, you push, you push, you push. Because as soon as you turn around, you retreat. The enemy will destroy you. The enemy will kill you. That is why I like it when the Bible says, after doing all to stand, stand. And that is why I said, do not move. Do not retreat. Stand and fight the battle. Doesn't matter how long it will take. Intensify in the spirit. Because now you know that you know what, this resentment that I'm suffering wherever I go, it's not human being. I don't have to fight human beings. I don't have to hate human beings. The battle is a spiritual battle and therefore fight it in the spirit. And you begin to see those people, their attitude, they begin to change. Oh, I didn't know. That way I was wondering why is it like people are resenting me? You are in a spiritual battle. Fight it in the spirit. Because if you fight human beings, you may not be able to win. Because you must remember that God is with you. The Bible says with God, nothing is impossible. There is no fight. There is no battle that will be impossible if you are with God. If you have God on our side. The Bible says the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So you don't fight spiritual battles using human means. Because it's a spiritual battle, you also fight in the spirit. That is why the Bible says the battles, the weapons, of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. That is why the disciples of Jesus Christ, when they, they were trying to heal or to deliver a boy who was plagued with a disease, they couldn't do it. And Jesus Christ said to them, in fact, they said to Jesus upon his return, Master, or teacher, whichever way they called him that day, how come we were not able to win, we were not able to deliver or to heal this boy? And Jesus said to them, some of this prayer alone is not enough. Some of them, you require prayer and fasting. So depending on the warfare that you are waging in the spirit, Remember that it is not, it is in the spirit. Remember that you are not fighting human beings. You know, because we are human beings, when you go through the situation, the first reaction, we react as human beings. But remember, we are not just human beings, we are spiritual beings in the main. In fact, somebody said, everything that is now manifested was in the spirit first. So you manifest your victory by fighting in the spirit. And you will see in the natural things beginning to change. God acting for you. God fighting your battles. I want to say to you, you are not alone. 
I want to say to you, if you have prayed, prayed again. I want to say, if you have been praying, push again. I want to say to you, don't move. I want to say to you, continue to press on. Because if God is for you, who can be against you? The gates of hell will not prevail against the kingdom of God. And you are part of that kingdom. God will win for you. Do not quit. You know, there is a say that says, winners are not quitters. Winners don't quit. And quitters don't win. So if you just press on, if you just hang on there, like Paul said, after doing all to stand, stand. Don't move from your position. Don't be a wall. You know, in the army, when they say you are a wall, they mean that you are absent without leave. You are absent from your position. Don't leave your position. The devil wants you to abandon that assignment. Don't. Continue to do that which you believe God has called you to do. Don't leave that job until God releases you. Don't stop praying because maybe you are just a minute away from your answers. God is with you. God will never leave you, will never forsake you. God will use the power of your prayer and your tenacity and your perseverance to change that situation. There is absolutely nothing that God cannot do. Today, as you are listening to this video, God is turning things around on your behalf. We call things that be not as though they are. Our hope is in God. Our faith is in God because he loves us. The Bible says in Corinthians, the three remain, faith, hope, and love. There is no life without hope, without faith, and without love. We thank God that today you have been revived to say, you know what? I am not giving up. I am not quitting because quitters don't win. Quitters don't win, but winners don't quit. Thank you very much for listening to this word. May God answer all your prayers according to Psalm 20. Every prayer that you have been praying, may God answer it. May God give you the desires of your heart. In this season, may things turn around on your behalf. May God lay a table before you in the presence of your enemies. May God glorify himself in your life. May your enemies be as ashamed. May your expectations not be thought at. The Bible says the expectations of the righteous, they are not thought at. May you not be disappointed. May you not be disappointed. May God come through for you. May God provide for you. May God protect you. May you experience the love of God. May you experience the favor of God. May you have favor with men. May you have favor with God. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to comment, to like this video, and even to subscribe and share it with your friends. That way you'll be spreading, you'll be helping me to spread the word of God. Thank you very much.